please get a uh, medium sweet tea and... What's going on guys? It's John and we have an absolutely hilarious video coming up for you. We drive the golf cart around town, take it to a fast food restaurant and the auto parts store and people have some priceless reactions. Here's a quick reminder to come see us at three upcoming events. April 13th and 14th, we have Mini Mayhem at Busco Beach in North Carolina. April 25th, 26th, 27th, paint swap meet with Go Power Sports at Texas Motor Speedway. And then May 18th, we have the Oregon Gambler Mini Bike Endurance Race. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Enjoy the video. Next thing to do is check the valve clearance because it's it's pretty much broke in now. I yeah, it's been, I don't think got so. some hours so. on it, and it's been making a little bit of noise. So we yeah. figured we'd uh, we'd uh, readjust the valves. Who had that thing off? Probably me. How much oil do you think is gonna come out? Oh, good question. Let's say it down on me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Survey says. Well, there's a film in there, so it's getting oil up top. Okay. Good. Yeah. Interesting rocker design, huh? So the valve lash on the exhaust is 006 to 008. So we're going for right in the middle, seven thousandths. And I need to make sure the engine's cold. Um, and it's been, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours or so since we've run this engine, and it's cool to the touch, so it's fine. I'm gonna tighten it up, and I'm gonna check it with the smaller one. Okay. On the loose side. And how many, what do you have there? This is the five. Okay. And the intake calls for four to six thousandths valve lash. So we're gonna go for five thousand, five thousandths. All right, dude. There it is. Perfect. They're both good. So what do you think? They were like one or two thousandths too loose? No, nah, they were more than that. Oh, really? Yeah. It's always a good idea to hand start every single bolt before tightening it down with a, a wrench or a power tool. I don't recommend using power tools. We need a, a crankcase breather to put on the end of this uh, valve cover, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we'll look into that. So we got the valves adjusted and uh, we want to put some miles on the golf cart. So I think we're going to hit the fast food drive through and see if we can't get a reaction out of whoever's working. Uh, we also need to stop by Ike's work. I'm going to be on my Honda CT70 uh, just because I want to put some miles on this thing. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Can I please get a uh, medium sweet tea 
and uh, some fries, extra seasoning, please. Will that be all? Two dice too, okay? That's it. Two dice too. Ma'am? Two dice too. Oh, thank you. push starting it. Come on. Dude, the walk of shame. Dude, I don't know what's going on. It just died and it just won't start again. I tried push starting it and it sputtered once. No idea. Thankfully, we're at the parts store. I don't know. I can drop the carburetor bowl, see if the fuel filter's clogged, something like that. <sighs> well, I guess a cup holder. This was a stupid idea. Because your hands are cold? No. Like, you saw I went <laughs> to go <laughs> eat a fry and the helmet was in the way. Yeah. So I tried going this way, it wouldn't work, so I had to go up. I probably got stuff all over my chin. <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh no. Dude, I was laughing so hard though. Like, it was Which part? so funny. The, the <laughs> like, no, yeah, you know, you're like, they're not gonna be able to hear me. This thing's so loud. Then you like got out and like <laughs> were yelling into the thing. But I want something that'll mount. Of course, we could put this right in the middle. Oh, what? What? <gasps> It's got... Plugs to charge up your cell phone and... Oh man, that screws down from the top, but I don't know if I have any place to screw down from the top. Is that you? Not there with that golf cart? Yeah. <laughs> I think these are a little large. Nah, how much are these? This is not that many. That's gotta be it, I guess. Large. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if this fits. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fall off. In, in a pinch, that'll work. So. Okay. It looks like I have fuel flow, dude. So, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we have fuel flow. So, and now it's going everywhere. Sorry, guys. Four. 
more for 23 bucks. Did not spill my drink, did not fall off. One dollar and fifty something cents. Yeah, everything went well except for the muffler falling off. <laughs> the muffler fell off within like a mile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everything was fine with this thing until the muffler falls off and then everybody's like, dude, yeah, people were not happy. Yeah. But I mean, this like, thing's super loud. But it's still legal. Like, they, well, don't, they don't say anything about the sound. No, they don't, but we got to think about our neighbors. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, no, we need to we need to weld that muffler back on there. Or find another muffler. Yeah. So the golf cart's working pretty good. We didn't get a great reaction out of, uh, out of the fast food people. But oh, they were staring hard, dude. <laughs> Everyone was staring hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, we need to fix that muffler, like, ASAP. We might want to tack it on here in a minute, but... What? Yeah, uh, it's so loud. This bike is just not running right. It it runs fine for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Like there's a period where it doesn't run right because it's not warm enough and then it runs pretty good. And then after, I don't know, maybe 20 or so minutes of riding, it's like, it gets too hot. Or I don't know why, but it just dies every time I come to a stop. I'm thinking I may just need to idle it up really high. I don't know, Ike, I want you to ride it because it also does weird stuff around like 35 or so miles an hour. Like okay. when you're... Wide open throttle, second, third, shift into fourth, it acts like it wants to die. Okay. So you'll have to check that out. That's cool. Yeah. Also, I should have some parts on the way for the uh, CT72, so we should have another episode of that coming up soon. Uh, of course, we just got a bunch of parts from Go Power Sports, so you're going to see some stuff on that soon, too. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. What else should we do to the, uh, the golf cart? I, I think we need to add a truck bed, maybe a couple of drawers for tools and stuff. Uh... Making it faster would be cool, but uh, man, with the steering the way it is, yeah. I think I'm fine with where it's at. And the gear change made a world of difference, too. It did. We gained five miles yeah. per hour. Two teeth, five miles an hour, low air cruising RPM, just perfect, honestly. Yeah. yeah. For, perfect for around town. Yeah. Without, yeah. like, busting uh, speed limit laws. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Check out what we're up to in between videos uh, on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameron's Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. And help support us in our future projects and videos by picking up some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.